Hello and welcome to activity number three. And for this activity, we are going to be making a shield. Lots and lots of knights had shields to try and protect them from arrows and swords in battle. So for this activity, you're going to need some cardboard. Um, you could just use a piece of cardboard, like an A4 A4 piece of cardboard or you might want to go digging around in your recycling and see if you can find some cardboard like this this is an old pizza box but you could use um, a cereal box or maybe even you might have some cardboard packaging that's come with a delivery that you might want to use we have lots of those in our house right once you've got your cardboard then you need to decide how big you want your shield to be now that is quite a large shield isn't it and the larger the shield the better it was at protecting you. But I think I am going to make mine just a little bit smaller because I think Georgia and Gracie are probably going to play with my shield. So I'm just going to use about half of my uh, pizza box here. Here we go, so there's my pizza box. And now I need to draw a shield shape. Now shields came in lots and lots of different sizes um, and shapes. Let me show you on this piece of card what kinds of shapes there were. Some shields were this shape. Do you know what that shape is? That's right, it's a circle. That was an easy one, wasn't it? But then some shields were also this kind of shape here. Okay, so you can do your shield whatever shape you like. I think I'm going to do mine that shape. So I'm just going to draw that onto my card as big as I can, because I want to fill the card. And if you do it in pencil, if you get it wrong, you can rub it out, which is fantastic. But you might want to get some help from a grown-up if you're not sure. But remember, it's got to be as big as the card, okay? Because we don't want teeny tiny shields, okay? There we go, how about that? Now, once you've got your shield, then we can decorate it because the knights really liked to decorate their shields. They liked to make them really personal to them, to them. Not only so they could find out whose was whose, so they didn't get them mixed up, but also it was to kind of show everybody who they were and what they were interested in and what they were about. So um, yeah, on your shield, perhaps you might like to draw some of the things that you're interested in, some of the things you like. So maybe it's things you like to do. So perhaps you like football. Perhaps you like swimming, perhaps you like, I don't know, you might like to go swimming, perhaps you like reading, you can choose whatever you like. I'm going to decorate my shield and then I'll show you in a minute what I come up with. Hello, welcome back. Uh, so here is my finished shield. So you can see that I, I drew lines on my shield, uh, so I had four different parts to it and I thought of four things that I really, really like. So one of the things I drew is a drum. Um, I don't play drums, but I just really like music, so I put that down there. Um, I put a book, because I really love books and reading. I put a bike, I love going on my bike for rides. And I've also got some flowers, because I love spending time in my garden. Um, now, our shield at the moment, we have to hold it like this, but that's not how knights held their shields. So we're going to use another piece of the card that I've cut out into a rectangle shaped strip. And what we're going to do is we're going to put it on the back of our shield a bit like this not flat though we're going to stick it on like this can you see that so it's like a loop and that means that we can put our hand just inside okay i'll just put some glue on to show you there we go so just pop some glue on there there we go press it down nice and hard yep so i can put my hand just inside like that Okay, really hope you enjoyed this activity. I'd love to see pictures of your shield, so please post some photos on the EYFS Home um, Facebook page or Instagram or Twitter uh, page. We would love to see them. Join us really soon for activity number four, where we will be making some medieval food.